This video will cover how to change the engine oil and filter on this 2017 Cherokee Trailhawk. It's the same on models from 2014 to 2017. We will also reset the oil life indicator when we're done. Tools and parts we used is a set of ramps, two wheel chucks for the rear tires, and an oil pan and funnel, a ratchet with extension, 24 millimeter socket for the filter cap, a 13 millimeter socket for the oil drain plug, a new filter cartridge and six quarts of oil. Take the oil filler cap off and put in the funnel. This will make your oil come out faster when draining. The oil drain plug is in this small cutout towards the back of the front pan. Using the ratchet and 13 millimeter socket, loosen the drain plug, then wearing gloves, slowly unscrew it. Make sure your pan is lined up because the oil will overshoot at first. While the oil is draining, you start taking the old filter off. Take the cap off the top left side of the ignition cover. With the 24 millimeter socket on the extension, place the socket on the top cover of the filter and unscrew counterclockwise. When loosened all the way, pull it straight up and place it over the pan to avoid dripping. With some paper towels, wipe any oil spills around the top and inside the canister area. Next, take the filter off the cap by pulling it out while holding the cap. This takes a little bit of force. A new o-ring for the cap should be included with your new filter, in which you will swap with the old one. And on one end of the new filter, a small o-ring comes already inserted. Take the larger o-ring off the cap and install the new. Then, spread some oil all around it. Do the same to the small o-ring on the filter. Insert the new filter into the cover and make sure it's centered. Then snap it in. If it wiggles some, it's normal, as long as it's snapped in. Now that the filter is ready, the old oil should be all drained out of the pan. Place the uh, drain plug back in and tighten to 18 foot-pounds. Wipe up any oil from around the plug. After inserting the filter, tighten the cover by hand. Make sure not to cross-thread it. After you hand tighten, use the 24 millimeter and torque to 18 foot-pounds. Next, refill the engine with oil. This 3.2 V6 will take 6 quarts of synthetic 5W20. Take the funnel out and replace the cap back on. Now back the vehicle off the rams to get it level. With the engine still running, check around the filter canister for leaks. And then put the cap back on the engine cover. Then check around the oil pan plug as well. Pull the dipstick and wipe it down and reinsert it. Pull it out again and make sure the level is between the max and the low mark. Now we reset the oil life to 100% so that the system can calculate the next oil change. Let me begin by saying that this one took me a while to figure out because the book manual that comes with the vehicle does not explain anything. It doesn't even have a chapter or a paragraph on this. We need to push the start button two times till it goes to run without depressing the brake pedal as you do when you start the vehicle. The first time you push it, it'll go to ACC, which means accessory. And this is what you see on the cluster. The second time you push it, it goes to run. That's what you want. You're doing this without depressing the brake, of course. Now you will see vehicle info on mine because that's where I had it at. If you're not already at vehicle info menu, you would have to go to this left button and it would make you go to the menu and you'll see vehicle info. Once you're at vehicle info, Press the top arrow, and that should be the first one to pop up, which would be the oil life indicator reset screen. As you see, mine is already at 100% because I already reset it, 
but I'm going to show you this for the next time I do it. I might have forgotten or it can help someone out there. The bottom where it says 100% there, it says to hold OK to reset the oil life indicator. But it really doesn't. If you hold the OK on your left side of your steering between the arrows here, it really doesn't do anything. When you hit it, you hold it, you can hold it for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, it will not do anything. After extensive research, what you really need to do, you have to hold the OK and pump your gas pedal three times and you will immediately see whatever you had it at if it was at 85 percent 90 percent zero percent whatever it was at you will see it go to a hundred percent and that's how you reset your oil life indicator to a hundred percent after an oil change of course Hopefully this video helped you along the way and if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comments and check the description for links of all the parts and tools we used. Thank you for watching. You all have a great day.